So, um, uh, for those of you that don't know, I am going to be getting my gallbladder removed. surgery thing that is making me super freaking nauseous. I'm like already shaking. I'm shaking. They've been, they've been making me fast since like last night, last night at 12 o'clock. Midnight. <laughs> but yeah, I feel super dry too. I have no deodorant or lotion on. <laughs> I'm a stinky girl right now. Are you nervous for me? It's so hot out here. It's 108 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna, I can do this. I can do this. I can't even see my eyes because of the glare. Mm. Oh, you're messed up. Oh my god, it is messed up. It's like ice cream. I'm gonna just have that in my head. <laughs> ice cream, man. You done? Almost. I'm just drinking it slow. Yeah, I'm gonna just throw it out. Alright, let's go. Let me pull on my mask. Here, put this under your other mask. Why? Because it's a hospital. This is difficult. I could have really not breathed with this. So, that drink is just to give me energy for recovery. It's full of carbohydrates, hydrates, something like that. <laughs> I didn't even know. No, this. put it on and then this put is, that one over. This is for a filter. So right now I'm like super shaky. It's probably because I'm nervous. But. And there's a freaking long line because they're checking everyone's temperatures. So, let's see how everything goes. Oh, hell no. <sighs> Let's go. <coughs> Why do I look so zoomed in? Am I zoomed in? No, I'm tripping. Anyways, I am back home. I'm sorry I didn't get to. Um, damn, I look like I'm. Can't to see my double chin. Oh, I'm pain. So. Well, I gotta take it easy because I'm like, I still have anesthesia in my freaking system. But, 
Now I gotta burp. Oh, I feel good. Like right now. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog. Um, after my surgery, I was just so in so much pain. I was so drowsy. I was so dizzy. I was throwing up. So I didn't have time to pull out my camera. Um, so yeah, I'm back home. I am in so much pain. I just feel super bloated because with the gallbladder removal, they have to, well, in order to take it out and put like the tools inside of you, they have to pump air inside your stomach. So all that air is just in my stomach now. It's like trapped and it's like escalating and traveling to my freaking shoulders and it hurts so bad. And the only way to take the pain away is to walk around the house. So I've been doing that and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like laying down is much worse. I should just be sitting up, but I'm so freaking tired. I finally ate. I ate some sopa de fideo. And what else did I eat? Oh yeah, and frozen fruit. Frozen fruit was so good. But at first when I was eating the sopita, I wanted to throw it up. But, and then I ate some frozen fruit and I could, I could keep that down. So yeah, I am in freaking pain. Um, this is only the first day. So let's see how I am the next day, which is tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm not ready. But yeah, they did, um, I think, five in five little incisions in my on my tummy. Right now, I just feel like super bloated. Like, I, it hurts. I, I look pregnant. Look. Um, yeah, and then... I have prescription pills and I also have some Tylenol but the prescription that they prescribed me with was are the Narcos and I am scared to take those so but it says you only take those if needed like if I'm in freaking pain I take one but I don't know I'll probably not take those this is else. at the hospital they just you know I had to go um, check in and all of that and then I went to the to just go get um, dressed up and you know they put an IV in me gave me lots of pills before surgery and after that I went to they just sent me to the um, surgery room and I was put on a surgery like on a table and then um, they started you know like the anesthesiologist is that how you say it? The people that give anesthesia to patients. Um, they were just explaining to me how they were going to do it and all that. And then that's when they put anesthesia in me. In my IV. And then... Um, oh my god, you guys. I feel like... I don't even feel like talking. Like, <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. Um, and also... Yeah, they put anesthesia and they put a gas mask on my face and that was the last thing that I remember they were like it's gonna feel like you took two shots I mean two shots it's gonna feel like you took 12 shots of tequila and I was like homeboy hell no this is stronger than that <laughs> so yeah that's the last thing I remembered and after that I woke up I seen the lights on me and then that's when I was kind of freaking out because they were taking out the breathing tube out of my throat and I could feel it and that's when I started spitting up and all of that and I was like oh my god I'm gonna die um and after that yeah I went to the recovery room and I was in so much pain so I slept for like two hours I went in at 12 30 my doctor my surgeon wasn't there yet he came pretty late because he was in trauma he was working with another patient so I went into I, I was in the dress like you know waiting room for like an hour and then like around three or two I went into surgery and then I was out like by what four o'clock and then I slept for like an hour and some change and yeah sleeping is key after surgery so you won't feel a thing literally like people be waking up after surgery and they'd be vomiting and all that I was like no boo boo you gotta go to sleep so you won't feel anything <laughs> but yeah that was how it went and right now I'm just walking around the house
trying to get some rest. I am in so much pain. It feels like I got sopped in the stomach. It feels like I did like 200 freaking sit-ups. But anyways, I am going to end the video. Well, end today's video because I'm going to um, I'm going to add this vlog to tomorrow's vlog. So yeah. So I can keep you guys updated so I'll see you guys tomorrow let's see how I wake up Bye. good morning you guys it is the next day and I am feeling super sore like it even hurts to freaking sneeze I think the worst thing ever is when you have to sneeze because you know like they work down on the abdomen area and I'm super sore so it feels like I did like a thousand sit-ups but I just finished eating some sopa and I took two pills, Tylenol. And yeah, I'm just chilling here now, watching some YouTube videos. And I've been walking around. I actually slept pretty good last night. I thought I was gonna struggle to sleep, but I slept pretty good. And yeah, I'm just taking it day by day. I know I'm gonna feel much better. Or even hurts to freaking cough a little bit. <clears throat> Whenever I cough or when I'm like walking around, I feel so much pain in my stomach. And it just goes up to my shoulder. It feels like I'm just bruised as heck up here. And it's just this shoulder. It's so weird. It's not over here. It's just this one shoulder. So, yeah. I'm just waiting to shower in the evening. They said to shower in the evening. It's barely 10.27. I woke up like at 6.30. So I've been awake for quite some time now. And usually I'd be sleeping in around this, these hours. I don't know how people can get BBLs done. Plastic surgery done. Like I can barely even handle this crap. Oh god, it hurts so bad. And I'm actually, I would show you guys my my incisions, but I don't know. I don't know about that. They're super bruised up and swollen. Like, my stomach feels like so inflated. I don't know how many packages I've received this past month, or even these past couple of months. But, again, another Amazon package. I ordered um, the baby a fan for his car seat because it's getting so hot out here in Vegas. Babe, can you give me a knife? I'm not that strong, especially right now. Got it. But yeah, I ordered him a fan. Look at him. What, puppy? What, puppy? D'Angelo. Hey. D'Angelo. He's still in his two days. And my mom ordered some. The metal straws look five dollars. She ordered some metal to straws to save the dolphins. Dolphins or turtles? And dolphins. She ordered some metal straws that come with two brush cleaners. Five dollars for five, six, five, twelve straws. And the baby stand. It's like a tripod so you can connect it to the bar handle. Car seat. Hey mom, your straws. Oh, your cups come in next week. Yeah, she shows the whole thing in me. The whole thing in me. Oh my god. Don't tell me you have to charge it. 
thought it was a wireless. Wow, I thought it was the one with batteries. Where is it? Let me see. Maybe to charge it, like every time it dies. I have to put, open that up. One big battery. Yeah, so you charge it, and then when it dies, when it dies, you charge it. Wow, I thought it was a. And it's rechargeable. What if we're out for a long day and it just dies? Ooh. It's charged already. Look at that thing! <laughs> it goes even higher! That's a thing right now, you guys. That's the job. No. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You like it? Your thoughts are my mom. Yeah. Put it down. Take it outside with me. How much was it? Nineteen bucks. This was bomb. My doctor over here explaining to me. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I could finally eat some Lay's con tapatio y limon, my all time favorite. Literally, I was craving this, so I have some. So I got some. But yes, my doctor gave me the okay to eat anything that I could eat. There's no diet, no restrictions or any of that. So don't come for me, okay? Uh, little D'Angelo, this is all I could do. It's just rocking him, nothing else. But rocking him, my poor little baby. For two weeks only. So I'm watching the Let's Do Makeup's old videos. Oh god, I can barely breathe. It hurts so bad. So I just showered. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice has been really raspy because of the, the breathing tube that they put down my throat. But yeah, I just got out the shower. Tony helped me shower. Thank god, because I cannot even twist my body. I am super sore. But Oh, I was dying to shower because coming out the hospital I feel so disgusting. So I'm just going to add some Cetaphil moisturizing cream because my face is so dry. Thursday night, the night before my surgery, oops, um, I was told to not put any deodorant or lotion on my body. And ever since then, I've been just so freaking dry. And I just... I can't stay dry like after my showers I have to drench my skin in lotion I just hate being dry it just feels so good because the night before when I showered they gave me this antibacterial soap to shower in <clears throat> it's like a pre-surgery thing and that's when they were like okay you can't add any you know like deodorant or like lotions or whatever so I was told not to do that. Dude, I am so blind. I cannot see without my glasses. My battery is about to die. So let me just brush my hair. And I'm going to close out this video. Very Shout out to my man for showering me and cleaning my ass. <laughs> but puppy, it sucks that I can't hold him. But, anyways, I'm going to close out this video right here. Bye -bye. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.